quiz. There she is on her favorite spot. I had to wash her blanket because she pulled out too much hair. I'm sorry you're pulling out hair. See, you'll see it. Look at that. That's, oh my god, tuna, for god's sakes. This one's clean now, but honey, you're, you don't need to pull out your hair. Look at that. Holy cow. Sugar. She's happy. I mean, listen, she's purring. Listen. You can purr for them? And you give me kisses, and she purrs. Do you want me to give you a bath? I'll give you a bath. Here. You lick me, and then I'll give you a face bath. Yep, like that. Like your mommers would. Your natural mommers, not your mommers. <laughs> not Sally. What are you doing? You're so, oh, you're going to get me, you little nippy nipsters. Don't you dare. What are you doing? Finish your breakfast. Everything's good, and there's a lot of hair on that blanket. Now, that blanket's been in here for about four days. I washed this one a little while ago because it looked the same. So, oh, Tuna. And she seems happy. I mean, she'll give a little love bite here and there, but not like a... She doesn't seem unhappy. She's just feisty, as you know, but that's just your kitty. High sugar. You need to purr in the phone for them? Listen. There she goes. As you can see, this is the way she normally is. She's happy, but I don't know. Maybe it's the middle of the night. I've never seen her do it, but maybe she does it when we're gone, or I don't know. What do you say, sugar? You ready to go home? You ready to go home? Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Sharp. Sharp. She's so cute. I love her. I love her. I don't know why you're pulling your hair out, baby. They say, well, I guess she did it before she ever came here, too, right? So I guess that makes me feel a little less bad. Hi. <laughs> Bedhead, look at you. You just woke up, and you, you show it. You're cute. Kitty mail.